it turns out that actually games change us physically. And one of the main ways that playing games or gamified experiences change us physically is it may actually make us smarter. Interesting research, Arne May 2004, University of Regensburg, gave people the task of learning how to juggle. Controlled group gave people the task of learning how to juggle and measured their brains in an MRI. In 12 weeks time of learning how to juggle, people's gray matter in their brains increased in a measurable, demonstrable way on an MRI. You could see it in an MRI in 12 weeks. Unreal. And in 2008, they went back and redid the same research and found that the actual cause, so they were looking for the causative effect. Why did this happen? And it turns out it's not how good you are at the game that makes you, that makes the gray matter increase in your brain. It's the mere act of playing it, of attempting to learn it, that causes the gray matter in your brain to increase. And the reason why this works uh, to a great extent and why games are um, uh, so addictive, let's say on one level, and so entrancing on the other, is a fundamental biological loop, which is to say, the process of following challenge and achievement releases dopamine in the brain. And that's intrinsically reinforced behavior that when we go through that process, that behavioral loop, whether we're playing a video game or, or a gamified experience, we are biologically hardwired to respond positively to challenges and achievements, to going through the loop of challenge to achievement. And as I said yesterday, this drug, dopamine, is at the heart of this behavioral interaction. It is why we seek to go through these, pleasure, these pleasurable activities like challenging ourselves and being rewarded.